It's been over half a year since Israel launched Operation Breaking the Waves to crack down on Palestinian terrorists following a series of attacks inside Israel. Yet despite the intensive Israeli activity, those attacks remain frequent. One Palestinian group that can claim some of the credit is the Lion's Den in the northern West Bank city of Nablus. It's a coalition of different militant groups working together on a regional rather than organizational basis. A model copied from another hotbed of Palestinian militias, Jenin, and now spreading throughout the West Bank. It's a thing that we saw first in the last year in Jenin, but in our assessment, they are trying to duplicate this, uh, this phenomena to other places because it, from their point of view, it's a, it's a good uh, structure uh, to confront the Israeli security forces. The main militant groups involved are Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Hamas, and Fatah's Al-Aqsa brigades, although non-aligned individuals may also take up arms or provide intelligence and shelter for the militants. Israel's decision to impose a curfew on Nablus has led to a significant reduction in shooting attacks, confirming perhaps the group's potency, but also raising questions as to why this strategy wasn't done sooner. For two months, recommendations have been made to surround Nablus that a different kind of security activity is needed here. And look, in recent days, Israel has acted differently, and we're hearing about how this has helped deal with the problem. Whether in Jenin, Nablus, or elsewhere, armed Palestinians putting aside their affiliations and working on a regional basis to conduct attacks poses new challenges to the Israeli security forces.